Well, 6,000 additional public school students reached proficiency standards in reading and math last school year, and the number of schools meeting annual benchmarks has also increased. KITV4's Andrew Pereira highlights one public school that's coming out of restructuring. A fresh coat of paint is a good metaphor for Moanalua Middle. The school achieved annual yearly progress under No Child Left Behind after three years of restructuring. After all the hard work that we've done, um, yeah, blessing. By lumping higher learning math students into one classroom, Moanalua Middle was able to reduce the class size for all students, thus improving test scores. And the teachers now can make sure that the whole instruction goes across the board. Uh, they collaborate together grade level wise. Last school year, 59% of all students grades 3 through 10 tested proficient in math, a sharp increase from previous years. That really shows us the plan is working to make system change and make the whole system move forward for all kids. Reading scores also went up, with 71% of kids passing proficiency benchmarks. Again, much better than years gone by. Matayoshi believes schools are reaping the benefits after a decade of no child left behind. So that a student moving through the system is really seeing that sort of seamless transition from grade to grade, from school to school. 133 schools met annual yearly progress goals last school year. That's 16 more schools than the previous year. Moanalua Middle achieved its goal by focusing on student assessments, curriculum, and classroom instruction. Initiatives implemented statewide under a race to the top federal grant. A lot of our teachers are really reflecting on their own um, teaching in the classroom and their instruction in the classroom and then how do they get better? I know there's evaluation. Now Matayoshi believes the annual yearly progress barometer is one of the weaknesses of No Child Left Behind. Congress could make some adjustments to the law but that likely won't happen until after the presidential election. Laura? Alright, thanks a lot Andrew.